Hey everyone, it's Delicia and thanks for tuning into the Cigar Vixen channel. I hope you all are ready to rumble today because I'm about to get into this Luchador. This is the newest lion edition um, to the original Luchador. This is El Gringo, meaning uh, the white guy, basically. Um, different color band on this one, uh, still has the traditional type of um, Luchador face max, which reminds me of Nacho Libre, I can't help it. Um, sorry, Sam, I don't know if that's what you're going for, but the whole wrestler theme is super cool. In fact, um, at IPCPR, uh, Sam had a whole um, actual wrestler guy coming in there and kind of like demonstrating the different moves that he chose to name uh, the cigar after, like the different sizes, so it was kind of cool. So he had like the pile driver, this um, frog, oh God, is it the frog jumper? No. Anyways, the lines are different. Um, the sizes are, are different names that are all wrestling moves, so really cool on that. So there's a, a 6x48 is the chin music, and then there's a 6.5x64, uh, which is the squared circle. Sorry, I'm not a wrestling person, so I only know a couple of the moves. And then there's the pile driver, which is a 6x60, and then this little guy here, the frog smash or frog splash, this is a 4.5x70, and, and it's... It's a 70, which you guys know me, I'm not a huge fan of the large ring gauges, but this one, it's actually kind of like a box press. It's somewhere in the middle of a box press and like an oval press, but either way, it's flattened down, so it makes it a little bit easier to smoke it, because again, um, not being a huge fan of the large ring gauges, they're just a little awkward to smoke, I mean, to be quite honest with you, but I know there's a lot of you out there that enjoy you know, smoking a larger ring gauge and more power to you. It's all personal preference. There's no right or wrong, you know, it's whatever you like. So anyways, again, making the larger sizes a little bit easier to smoke by pressing it down. Um, the blend itself is featuring a Nicaraguan Oscuro wrapper. Um, there is a Nicaraguan Habano binder and then Pennsylvania and Nicaraguan Ligero filler. And you can see the Ligero in here if you look at the foot, um, it's just, all mixed in there so I'm assuming this is going to be you know a little bit more of a powerful smoke but again this is the first time that I smoke it in this size so I'm curious to try it out um, so here we go now if you've never met Sam Lacia the guy who makes these smokes he's a really cool guy um, I've had the pleasure of hanging out with him a few times, different events, and um, you know, just a lot of fun. A great positive energy, and just a really hardworking guy. He's traveling all over now. He's recently kind of joined forces with General Cigar, although this is his baby. The Luchador is um, one that you know was his creation and his his little brainchild. So it's a really cool idea. It's a lot of fun, and again, just a really cool theme. So let's get it to smoke up here Mm. Well, that's very nice. Again, I love when the first puff that you take of a cigar has this, you know, nice warm introduction and that's exactly what this one just gave me. Just a very nice toasty, little bit of a nuttiness to it. Um, there's a slight sweetness in here, but it's really just a nice toasted bread, slightly nutty and just a very warm um, welcome to, this, to the smoke. So I'm gonna smoke it a little bit more, obviously, get into it and talk to you once I get past the first third and let you know what kind of flavors it has. So getting into the second half here of the El Gringo Luchador, um, the flavors are pretty cool. Uh, it started out again with that toasty kind of nuttiness. There's been an introduction of a hint of a dark chocolate, um, not sweet, but more of that um, more rich, uh, slightly bitter dark chocolate kind of a flavor, but there's a lot of pepper. Um, 
combination of some white and black pepper that I'm really enjoying, especially on the finish, which um, being that it's a little warm outside here in Southern California today, I decided to uh, mix a drink when I was about at the halfway point. And by the way, I sat the cigar down uh, while I was preparing my drink and came back to it and it was still lit, which is absolutely a bonus for me because I hate relighting my cigar. So that was um, just a little side note that this one is because of the size and the amount of you know filler tobacco, it stays lit for you. So you don't have to worry about you know having to touch it up or anything like that. So that being said, again, I decided to kind of play with the fact that it had um, a lot of pepper in it. And I decided to mix up a little concoction um, of tequila, lime juice, and then of course some little tajin um, garnish on there. Tajin, if you don't know, this is like a Mexican staple. Um, you can put this on your fruit, on just about anything, but it's a, a lot of different pepper, um, like paprika, lime, salt. It's just a little fun little garnish. And so I took my Patron Silver um, on the rocks, squeezed about half of a lime, and then you know garnished it first with the tajin um, little fun treat there. So this was a nice compliment. Again, it's refreshing. The Patron Silver, um, if you are not familiar with tequila, don't freak out. I know that's like the first thing that I hear from people with tequila. It's like, oh, I had a bad experience. I don't drink tequila. Well, we're not shooting it, you know, we're just kind of sipping it. And normally if I'm gonna sip tequila, I go with an aged, you know, Añejo. But again, because it's hot and I don't wanna interfere so much with the flavors of the cigar, I chose the silver because it's not a very strong flavor at all. It's very crisp, um, very clean. It's very smooth going down. Added the lime, you know, a little bit of the chili and the peppers to kind of just bring out some of the peppers in the cigar. And so this was a fun little pairing. So again, if you wanna try and make it yourself, it's basically just half um, half of a lime, about, I don't know, a shot glass worth of silver uh, Patron on the rocks, and then you garnish it with the tajin you know, seasoning. And it's just a nice little treat. One that I drink again like on hot days and whatnot, and it's a good compliment with the cigar, again, because it just brings out you know some of the peppers. There was a little bit of, um, not really a citrus in the, in the flavor of the cigar, but kind of there was a zing somewhere that was coming into it. Um, so that kind of complemented each other with the drink. Again, not overpowering the cigar in any way, just a nice little compliment for it. So that's my own little addition. And I'm gonna smoke it down a little bit more and check back in with you one last time. So coming into the last third of the Luchador, um, the flavors have been consistently pepper, um, even more so in this last little third than in the initial first and second. Those notes of dark chocolate um, kind of took a back seat. I don't, in fact, I don't taste them at all in the last third. There's a little bit of a hint of coffee, but it's not very strong. It's again, mostly just pepper. Um, more again, that mixture of white and black pepper combined, but really on that finish, it just kind of lingers. So if you're a pepper fan, this is a good cigar for you. Strength wise, um, it's not as strong as I initially thought it would be, but that could be again because of the larger size. So it's probably about a medium as far as the strength, but overall it's a pretty good cigar and I urge you to try it for yourself. And again, there's four different sizes that it does come in. So check your local B&M and make sure you try it out and let me know your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and have a fabulous week. Cheers.